guys I want you to see this the, uh, because we're going to talk about that later how are you guys welcome and welcome back to our YouTube channel my name is Judy and uh, I'm back again today with another video I want to show you guys the, um, a little bit of history of Berlin not history because I'm not very good at that but it's one of the things that uh, you should do when you come to visit Berlin as well. it's a must a must visit so for tourists who are planning to visit Berlin Germany please take a tip all right so this is the Brandenburger tour it's called like that in English it's called uh, Brandenburger gate it was a former entrance gate entrance to berlin city so it's known for that and it's not it's known for other so many other um things for example it it connected the wall of berlin if you guys remember or know about the the the, the world war ii and the, the and berlin was divided into two there were west and east not berlin germany east germany and there were west germany and so so many people are here so many people come to see this they travel all the way for this and so we decided hey we live here and we've never been here by the way i've been here once long time ago but um yeah for a short time so today i came with my family and yeah the sun is out the weather is nice today so I'm gonna take you there. So you say hi to everyone. We are also having our friends. Our friends from Austria. Austria is neighbor neighborhood of Germany, a neighbor country from here. And so. Okay. <laughs> hey. Bye guys. Bye guys. Yeah. Welcome to Bali. Yeah, our friends from Austria. <laughs> and Maya, okay, Maya, say hi. Hi. Alicia, hi guys. Alicia, say hi. hi. Say hi. Say hello, guys. Hello, guys. Welcome back to the Watengo YouTube channel. <laughs> Please subscribe and like. <laughs> we love you. Okay. Okay. Ciao. Ciao. So, guys, let me take you around and see what surrounding this is the gate the the, the, the Brandon Booker gate so so this is the surrounding this is what it looks like and a lot of people from I guess all over Europe and maybe more and if you want to have a tour sightseeing and they take you around they also give you the history they explain one by one so in case we want to do that but i don't think we need that because we are many we are more than that and um the the the, the what the u.s embassy is also here yeah it's next to the gate guys these people are lucky sometimes we go Kempinski Hotel is also here, but it's called Hotel Aldon. It's part of Kempinski. I think it's the main, it's the main hotel, the major, the major or the main, whatever. So let's take a walk. So I'm gonna go to the other side. I'm gonna cross the gate and see. Let's go, guys. See what at the other side. This is the gate. This is the famous Brandenburg Tor. Yeah. In case you wanna know more about it, maybe you can Google about this. This is the. Uh, this was the like the the main the main sign of Berlin. This sign. 
and in case you um in case you want to buy something like a souvenir there are all, so many i have this sign so many So I just crossed the gate. There's nothing much from this side basically. <laughs> Sightseeing Berlin. There's um okay there's a correction a little bit of correction because before i wasn't even sure about this place but now i'm 100 percent sure because a friend of our friend came to to see them here and um, he explained to us that this this gate that this gate was the main entrance from berlin west coming here this was not berlin rather germany west coming to this side which is Berlin which was Berlin East now for example I'm standing I'm here this is Berlin East and so yeah and after 18th of March there were there were no more there were no more Germany East or West or East East Germany East or West Germany and so that's it guys so I'm it's good to know I'm happy to know he's here he didn't want to he just wanted it low key so i'm not gonna <laughs> so i'm not gonna uh, ask him but he explained to us and i'm lucky so on this other side when you exit or maybe before you enter uh it's called club des accent that is uh 18th batch it's called like that because on this day is when they got freedom like they were in some some of the information of this day 18th of march i don't know if you can see it well because of the sun but uh, no that's not english wait so on this date 18th of march they got freedom of press freedom of speech and opinion and all those honesty for political prisoners freedom of assembly and association equal political rights without without regard to pr property or religious belief independent judiciary trial to jury small smaller army people's militia political representation for the people of the in an elected parliament so we can treat all of it by uh, basically that it. so i hope you guys got something like i got today i didn't know much about this place but at least now i know yeah and so many police are here protecting this area because there are so many there's so many tourists and let's see these ukrainians what are what they what they're doing here <laughs> I guess they are protesting. It's a coincidence that they are also here. So, so I'm going back inside. And yeah. And uh, in case you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, kindly do so. We are on our way to 1,000 subscribers. We are getting there, guys. We are doing well. You're doing well. Please hit that sub, sub, subscribe button. There's a bike here. Group bike. Kempinski Hotel. In Berlin. In Berlin. That is the main entrance. 
There is something else that I just found out that this Kempinski Hotel is uh, 125 years old. But uh, 100 years ago, nay, 25 years, 25 years ago, uh, there was an accident and it got burnt. And so after the renewal of it, it was renewed, renovated, and everything. Now it's 25 years. Very soon it will be 25 years. And there's something about this floor. I don't know. Uh, you see, there's, there's, the, there's a name here, Hotel Aldon. So from Hotel Aldon 1 to that floor, on this particular window or door, there was a certain video of Michael Jackson that um, he he had a baby and then he uh, he took the baby back inside so quick. And I don't I don't know, I'm not sure it if it was a if it was a song, but it went viral. Maybe you can check about that somewhere from the internet or something like that. But this is the place where Michael Jackson was. That floor. This wide this white um, entrance so yeah that's it window or something a balcony one two three that floor so yeah guys From this corner, I came from here. This is the Brandon Dugat tour, the Brandon Gate, and the hotel is also there. So from here, from this corner, when you turn like this, this is the British Embassy. So we're gonna go there. This is the British Embassy. It's on a sa Saturday. Sorry. It's on a Saturday and Queen Elizabeth passed away like a few days ago, like two days ago. And so something I wanted to show you guys. I just found out right now. That people are honoring the Queen by putting flowers outside the British Embassy some people are also queuing I don't know what they want I don't know why they are queuing Mama. so the entrance is right here people coming people come with their flowers and Give a message, candle, candle lighting, flowers, and everything. British Embassy in the honor of our Queen Elizabeth the Second. Yeah, that's it guys. I just wanted to show you that because I found out when we were on our way, by the way, we were heading to other, other things and then a friend of mine told us there's something right here. So I decided, well, why not share with you guys? So, Queen Elizabeth II, rest in peace. You see, they're carrying flowers and they're going to honor the Queen. So that's it guys.